Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be part 20-something of Transport Fever 2 Megalomania. Now we're sitting here looking at, I believe it's McAllen. Um, is it? Yes. Uh, and uh, we're only hanging out here because, well, trains. You know, of course. That's the... Uh, the uh, well, the important part of everything, right, is trains. Now, I uh, finished off this uh, big mainline project. Uh, where where was it? Uh, way, it was way over here. Uh, last time around uh, with the connection through uh, West Covina here. Now, I and also... Uh, uh, implemented an improvement for the uh, uh, routing of uh, goods over here. Now, uh, I, I, I was kind of waffling on what I was going to do. I was thinking of rejiggering the uh, lines over in this area here, uh, whoops, uh, around Santa Ana, Long Beach, and McAllen. But I've decided that... Uh, uh, the goal for this map is going to actually be connecting all the towns uh, into the rail network. Uh, since, well, we can't actually connect them with uh, airports or whatever yet, because we don't have airports yet. Um, see, we don't have airports yet. Now, that means uh, finding some towns that aren't connected into this uh, mix... And connecting them and uh, I was thinking of starting over here with Dallas in the corner uh, and that means connecting it to something and it's way off in the middle of bloody nowhere so I'm thinking maybe uh, well let's see we've got a well we've got a train station here where we can escape this way so uh, maybe flinging a line across this way and then up to Dallas uh, would be the way to go. Uh, you know what? I think that is the way to go. That connects it to the existing uh, infrastructure. Uh, and it should add a destination for these uh, towns over here. So... Uh, Looking at this, I need to I need to take a look at what I'm going to do with this station here. Is I've got a passenger track here, and a cargo track here, and that means I'm going to need to rejigger this station. Now, uh, the question is, how am I going to go about doing that? And I'm thinking that the smart thing to do is to flip the platforms around so that the cargo platform is against the building and the uh, passenger platform is in the middle of the station and then we don't have to have yet another platform uh, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do so I'm gonna pause the game while I'm doing that and uh, then configure the station now to do this, I'm going to have to take the, this out, this out, and all of this stuff. Really? Oh yeah, because there's no platform there. Right. Now, I need to go uh, put a, uh, a cargo uh, platform here. Uh, because I don't want to move the uh, road stations. Um, right. I need to break that. Okay. Because I don't want to move the uh, road stations, or the road station here. Um, actually, I could, I could remove this platform here. Let me take a look at this. No, no. Uh, yeah, okay. If I remove this platform, I should gain some space. Okay. 
Okay, here. Configure. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the track back. Because then the tracks will line up. Uh, yeah, I think that'll be uh, the better option. And then platform. Cargo platform. Okay. And then a passenger platform. And naturally, I'm going to have to uh, rejigger everything uh, at, you know, to make sure it all works. Uh, and I'm going to need a passenger building. Oh! Okay. Uh, small cargo building. I can fit a small cargo building there. Does it tendril into the... I don't see tendrils there. Uh, small side building does get tendrils. Okay, I'll do that. And passenger building. Uh, a medium main building going here gets tendrils. Okay, I'll do that. Now, I also need another track. Okay. I think that's all I need to do on the station. Um, now, I've got a problem with the uh, routing. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to reconnect the tracks here. And then I need to look at uh, this one. And this is trying to go to uh, the cargo station. Uh, and that's obviously not what I want. So I'll remove this and then I will add a passenger station. Okay. Now, that, uh, that should improve things there a little bit. Now, uh, that is called McAllen, and they're both called McAllen. Okay. Now, uh, I need to adjust the station throat here. Uh, so I'll back up to here. Now, uh, the cargo platform is there, so... Uh, okay, so I'm going to need to come out straight. Let's come out level as well out to about there and what am I gonna do here okay that nope uh, what I'm doing is I'm plumbing this in uh, in preparation for ultimately changing this to a through route uh, okay so now uh, the cargo needs to get to that uh, that track uh, and the passengers need to get to that track okay and then this one needs to also uh, get to both tracks uh, you know what uh, I'm going to bring this out this way yep like so and then like so and if I extend this out to connect here yeah that'll be a good thing to do you know because the tracks need to connect and then if I connect this here okay that gets me a full complement of connections and this doesn't uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to need to have a waypoint here for line routing. Anyway, I uh, definitely need a signal here. Yeah, I definitely need a signal there. And just because there's going to be queuing and stuff, I'll put, or potentially, I'll put a signal there. Now, Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, okay, so 
uh, I can fix that because I want it to change tracks here so that it doesn't conflict with anything that might be happening here. So I'll put a waypoint here. And then I will manage the line. And going from Long Beach, I'll add the waypoint. There we go. That gives uh, the, the connection I want there. Now, I should be able to restart the, the clock. Uh, and that also fixed the stuck train. So, uh, okay. So that was a little less uh, complicated than I thought it might be. So now what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to uh, build some tracks. Looks rather like you're going to bulldoze some buildings. Well, that too. Uh, I suppose you're going to build the same structure on this side that you had on the other side. Actually, no. I'm going to bring this one over uh, as, a, uh, as the through track. Uh, you know, you, you, you do need to, uh, extend your, uh, what are you trying to do there, man? I'm trying to find the snap point. There it is. Well, it looks like you found the snap point. Uh, you do realize you're going way below ground level there. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. And what's this? Train 4 is stuck with no path. Does it mean no path? No path to where? Uh, what? Uh, right. Reverse. Reverse. No path. Reverse. Okay, well, let's see if it gets stuck again. Right. Uh, anyway. Uh, yes, I know I'm going down below grade there. Uh, I'm going to need to make a bridge on that. Need, you say. Well, maybe not need. But ultimately, I'm going to end up making one. So, you're putting a crossover there. Yep. And you're putting one there, too. Yep. You don't need one there. Nope. So why are you putting one there? Because I can. Oh. Uh, but now you're taking it out. Yep. Why? Because I screwed it up. You Did you now? Yep, I did. So... Oh, I see. You're going to put a double slip in there. Yep. Yep, I'm going to put a double slip in here. Because I don't expect much traffic there. And then we still need one of these. But obviously not there. Oh, we can get that in that way. Okay. Yep. Okay, that looks like it works. Okay. Now you need to get through here. Yeah, I do. Uh, are you are you going to go for... Well, what if I level this? Well, that's not going to improve anything, you know. So why don't you pause the game? What is... Oh, right. And then take the road out. You know, you're going to have to put the road back, right? Yep. That is part of the plan. But first, I need to get the tracks over. Okay, so you built tracks. Now what are you going to do? I'm going to build a road. Okay, you're going to build a road. Well, that, that would work. But I suppose you're going to try and turn that into a bridge. 
I'm not convinced that's better than a level crossing. I mean, that's freaking steep. Yeah, it's steep, but it should work. And uh, you're building a stone bridge there, are you? Well, why not? Well, I suppose you have a point there. You're going to take that, aren't you? Yep. And then I'm going to do this. And turn this into a slightly less insane uh, approach. Right. That is way less insane. Okay, now as a result, the loaded uh, wagons will be going downhill. I think. Or is that just intercity private traffic? That's just intercity private traffic, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, they can uh, put up with the uh, uh, ridiculous uh, uh, setup there then. Right. Uh, where was I going with this? Oh, yes, I was going over to Dallas, way over there. Okay, let's see if we can fling it around here. So how am I going to... I need to go across on this side here of the of the, the, the hills there. Because I need to get all... Okay, I want to come up around here at the narrow point. Oh, oh, that could be interesting. Okay, maybe I don't want to go for the narrow point. Okay, well, anyway, uh, what would it look like to build a bridge here? Well, that could be entertaining. Right, okay. So I'll aim for that part of the, uh, the world, so to speak. Uh, so, uh, of course, you're going to demolish roads. Yep. Demolishing roads is important, right? Uh, it, uh, well, it allows for, you know, doing this sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it does allow for doing that sort of thing. Right. Now. Okay, so you reconnected the road. Now you need to build a bridge. Right. Well, it's not like we have 409 million or something like that. You know, you, you said that like a dozen times in the last episode. It was tedious then. You think it's less tedious now? No, of course not. It's exactly as tedious now as it was then. Okay, that gets us some navigable water. Now, what bridge do we want? Well, let's go for a brick one. Yeah, okay, that'll work. And that's going to cost us 10 million. So, you took it. Naturally. It's not like I have 400 million in the bank. Well, you don't now. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's to be expected. Now, you're just going to fling it across the, uh, the plains here, right? Well... I don't know so much about fling, uh, but a nice sweeping curve could do. Yeah, yeah, a nice sweeping curve could do. Uh, yeah, Dallas is over here, so okay, what does it look like along the coast here if I were to come across this way? That actually looks a little less problematic, so I think I'll make a nice sweeping curve up that way. Uh, maybe it should angle that way a bit more. Okay. Yeah, that should work. Uh, right. Yep. Okay, so this is a long stretch of track. 
Uh, so there's going to be quite a lot of uh, fiddling around here to make the connection. Now, where do I want the station in, at Dallas? Well, ultimately, I'll probably end up uh, running a track from Dallas to Omaha through Charlotte and then probably to Independence, South Bend, and Fort Lauderdale. That's Lauderdale, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that'll get close to all of the towns on the map, actually, uh, I think. Uh, I can't remember how many there were. Uh, I could look. Towns. That stations. Towns. Uh, right. Uh, how many towns are there? Lots. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, three, two, four, five, six, seven, twenty, eight, twenty-nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's thirty-six towns. Okay. And Okay, so it looks like we've got about half of them connected. Okay. Uh, right. Now, if I'm going to be doing that, I probably want the station over here. So that's what I'll do. Right. So while I'm thinking about that, I'll plumb one of these in. And I'll put it right about here. And then... I will also uh, plumb in a couple of these. And what are these Deweys? You're still calling those Deweys, are you? Well, of course. You need, we need a, a running gag of some kind, don't we? You, no, no, you, no, we really, really don't. You're sure about that? Everyone loves a running gag. No, everyone doesn't. They get old fast. Oh, so that's why you're continuing the conversation with yourself thing, is it? Yeah, pretty much. You know, that didn't make any sense, right? Really? Who knew? Uh, what am I going to fling on here? Uh... Well, uh, I'll, I'll fling a, a Petersburg streetcar. Yes, I know it says St. Petersburg. Uh, but you selected two of them. Yeah, yeah, I did. So you're, you're going with two of them. Yeah. Why shouldn't I go with two of them? Well, you, you, you know, like your, your choices there have been completely random. So uh, I suppose why not? Okay, so this is going to be a local in Dallas, and it's going to be Crosstown A. Right, okay, good. So we have that. Now, uh, right, where is it? It's right here. So we need to stick a uh, train station on here. And you've gone and done that. Okay. Uh, you know, you could have just clicked on tracks. That would have worked. Yeah, yeah, this occurred to me after I clicked on everything, naturally. Okay, so now you're going to crank a track around there, are you? Yeah. I need to get toward the, the, the river there, right? Oh, I see. Yes, you kind of do. Okay. Oh, look. Tram 3 is is in very poor condition. Whatever shall we do? Well, you're almost certainly going to ignore it. Well, how did you know? Because you've been ignoring that stuff all along. Have I? Stop acting surprised. Oh, okay. So you're on to me then. Yeah, I'm on to you. Now, what happens if we do this? Nothing spectacular. But if we do that, we go up way too far. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, but if we do this, we get a long approach to the river and we'll get better clearance, I think. So we'll do that. And now get across the uh, water. Now, give that its natural shape and that gives us navigable water. Now we don't really need navigable water, but it just seems like the thing to do. Okay. Uh, you probably want to go with the same kind of bridge you picked on the other part of this line. Yeah, I probably do. Uh, which track is that? Okay, it's the right hand one. Okay, so we... No, that's not how you do that. So we bring this around like this. You know what? That works. So now you're going to go over here and reconnect the road that you didn't really need to remove. Yeah, yeah, I guess, uh, guess I'm going to do that. Uh, but I didn't know I didn't need to remove it at the time in my defense. That is a wacky great bridge. You know, bloody long is what it is. Right, well, uh, you're the one that decided not to uh, cross at the uh, steeper banks. Well, yeah, I suppose I did. Right. Okay, so you're twinning it, and, uh, you know, it's not so bad having that long bridge there. You know, everybody, everybody loves a good viaduct. Yeah, but is it a good viaduct? Well, it's serviceable. Well, that, well, I suppose, you know, in the absence of anything else, that's uh, reasonable. Okay, now, to fling some signals at this. Then I'll have to fling a couple of trains up this. This is a long line. This is a really long line. So it'll either make uh, big money or lose money big time. Well, we need to burn some cash somehow. I mean, we built this whacking great stretch of track with a whacking great bridge on it. And we still have 345 million. Oh, you're, you're on that again, are you? Yeah, apparently. You know, not only did we build one whacking great bridge, we built two bridges. Yeah, well, how else were you, you going to get over the water? Uh, I don't know, uh, teleport? Yeah, very funny. Okay. That gives us a uh, functional... Uh, track, uh, as far as I can tell. Now, where's the... Oh, there's the train depot. Uh, so now we got to make a decision. We don't have steam or elect or, or diesel or, or electric yet. Uh, but what do we have here? Uh, we can... Uh, well, the PV it does 64. I think it's the fastest we've got. Yeah, I think it is. So we'll, we'll grab one of those. And then we need a car that... Now the compartment car has a four times loading speed capacity of 11. The uh, Bolt has a two times loading speed and a capacity of 11. This has a 63, 64k running cost. They both have a 64k running cost. The bolt is heavier. Oh well, that decides it then. As the clear story is much more expensive and uh, uh, you know the extra four kilometers an hour is probably not going to be worth it. Uh, uh, with the extra four passengers, and it's 25 tons. So uh, let's add 
let's go 55 capacity seems reasonable and let's fling three of those up the up the line uh, why three well just because of the length of it it's going to take a while to run the length of it ah yes this this does make some sense but you know it's probably going to lose you money well initially i'm sure it will uh, i can always cut this back if need be but i mean we have 347 million so right so this is going to go on a new line, which goes from here, way over here. Right. Uh, good. Now, uh, what was I abbreviating McAllen as? Uh, MCA. Okay. So this is going to be intercity rail McAllen to Dallas. Okay. That gets that going. Well, here's the, the, the first train going out on there. Uh, and you know what? I think this is probably going to be enough of an adventure for this episode. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, get up, on, uh, get in the train here, and up the tempo, so we can just zoom along the track here, and then we can observe how things are functioning. Now, uh, I've had a couple ideas for a new, uh, a new series uh, for Transport Fever. Two. Uh, if for for when I I uh, leave this one, leave aside this one for a bit, uh, but I'm not entirely sure yet exactly where I'm going with it. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, picking up a challenging uh, map uh, with uh, some you know, a very hilly map uh, as an alternative and uh, going through. Uh, connecting things with the challenge of no wacky great tunnels, no huge viaducts, and avoiding uh, uh, you know, massive embankments where possible. Uh, that's uh, one possibility. And another possibility was to pick up an island map uh, where uh, water uh, routes, shipping, it is going to be uh, more relevant. Because it's not relevant on this map, really. Seriously, there's no point using boats on this map. So uh, the only relevant the transport modes on this map are rail, road, and air. And we don't have air yet. I'm also considering starting the, uh, the next series in uh, 1950 or so, instead of back in 1850. I mean, there's only so much uh, you know, steam trains and so on that uh, one can take. Well, yeah, actually, no, I, I, th I think that might be overstating that. You know, the steam trains are cool and all. Uh, but it'd be good to get on with the uh, more modern stuff. Because the game actually has quite a few more modern things. And they, uh, you know, playing with that stuff can be just as fun. And, it's a different uh, ball game, really. So you know, like, that's what I'm thinking: is uh, either uh, a, a water map or uh, uh, steep, you know, dense mountains, uh, a mountainous region. So I'm still pondering that. There's a while to go before it's time for that. Uh, but you know, if you have any ideas or whatever, uh, you know, let me know. If you have a map you want me to mess with or whatever. Uh, I'm also uh, considering uh, adding a third game to the mix uh, as far as uh, putting in rotation on these uh, the videos, uh, uh, you know, so that uh, it, it doesn't get quite so, uh, so boring day after day uh, making videos. Uh, you know, eventually I'm going to hit a fatigue level with Transport Fever 2 and... Uh, Surviving Mars is going to uh, 
ultimately hit a boredom point as well. So if I can spread the, them out a bit more, yeah, it, it might be might be an idea, and it gives just a little bit more variety as well. So I was thinking of throwing city skylines in the mix there. Uh, there's been quite a few uh, updates to the to the game, City Skylines, since the last videos I made with it. So I'm thinking, yeah, that might be an interesting thing to play with, and see see where where I I get with that. And then I'll be on the lookout for other games that run on Linux that uh, that could be uh, uh, good options. But anyway, it looks like this uh, this line is uh, going to work uh, work just fine. Uh, you know, we picked up 38 passengers on uh, at uh, Dallas on our first trip. So uh, once these trains space out a bit, that should uh, that should mean that we have a pretty uh, functional line. Uh, we have some people waiting at this end as well. So. Yeah, okay, so uh, once this beds in a bit, it should uh, uh, it should get uh, more uh, uh, more profitable. But anyway, the point of this was to connect uh, Mick Allen and everybody else with Dallas. So, yeah, uh, so there's that. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to check in on Mick Allen here. Uh, we have... 500 people here uh, but it looks like uh, it looks like I need to uh, it looks like I need to expand the local public transport in McAllen and then over here in Long Beach uh, we're at 800 here uh, and it, uh, I expanded the uh, public transport here actually already. So, yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, so, so uh, I think. Uh, how's this doing? Uh, maybe I should. Uh, yeah. Yeah, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to replace these with, wait, are those, that's not trammed up, is it? No. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, manage vehicles, replace, now, uh, we're using uh, those. Okay, the the Opesant is uh, not particularly an improvement. Uh, American Stagecoach. No, nothing's really an improvement here. Okay. Uh, I guess uh, it's still a bit early for uh, replacement vehicles here. Uh, though. I should probably replace that with uh, with a tram at some point, but I think uh, I think I'll leave that uh, for another uh, episode. Uh, so next time, uh, I think I'll bring Des Moines uh, and uh, maybe. Uh, Roseville uh, in uh, let's see what do we got what do we have here uh, actually no I think I'll start on a, a main line across here uh, going through uh, all of these uh, and then uh, down and across to uh, to Torrance I think and then, uh, and then I'll also eventually bring a line from Torrance across through Roseville, uh, Des Moines, and then into either Long Beach or McAllen. Probably into McAllen. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. 
is I can catch everything across here with one line. And then, is there anything else? Then I have... I need a spur up to uh, Wilmington. Uh, actually... Uh, and then I've got uh, up here uh, Winston-Salem, is that? Yeah. And uh, Pembroke Pines. Okay, and then I've got uh, a stack of them over here to uh, connect into the, the network. Yeah. And a stack of them over there. Okay. So... Uh, I think uh, probably it, it'll take uh, three or four parts, maybe five, to get the main line across up here. And then maybe another five parts or six parts to connect everything else. Uh, then uh, maybe a bit of uh, tinkering uh, in the uh, heartland over here uh, to rejigger the uh, passenger lines through here. And then after that, uh, I think this map will be ready to, to be paused for a bit. So I think by the time I've done that, uh, we'll either be getting uh, performance issues or uh, we'll be up at like part 40 or something like that and it'll be time for a change. So, yeah, uh, connecting up the rest of the... Uh, the towns in a passenger network uh, I think will be the goal for the rest of this series and then anything else that that comes up uh, yeah I think I think that's the plan and then uh, next time uh, next series uh, pick a different goal anyway back up to just about 400 million now uh, coming up on 1884 so uh, I definitely want to get this to the 1900s uh, get get past uh, horse-drawn uh, carts for the towns uh, and the road vehicles. So I, I also want to get there as well. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this time. So I guess I'll see, see you guys back for the next part, uh, which should come on Monday. Anyway, that's all for now. See you next time.